My name's Brian. I'm here to tell you about something that happened to me a few weeks ago. But first a question. Isn't it truly amazing that your life can be turned upside down in just one-tenth of a second? It can. And soon, you'll find out why. Let's not bore you with a lot of details about my life. I'll cut to the chase. I was born in New York 23 years ago, and growing up, I was always somewhat of a child prodigy. I studied at Columbia and finished my physics degree with honors last year. During the summer, I arranged interviews with several universities, hoping I'd get into a decent PhD program. And in the end, I was chosen by the best. Professor Silva at Berkeley offered me the chance to do my doctoral studies at the applied physics department he runs there. It was a dream come true. I packed my bags and got ready to move to California. I was ready to drive from coast to coast without stopping. I had no idea of the events that would take place within just a few days. About the mess I was gonna get in. Strange people about to cross my path. The hundreds of dangers lurking behind every corner. Yes, it was quite an adventure. But let's go back to the beginning. As I told you, my old car and I were ready to go to California. I decided to take off at night and get a few miles behind me before dawn. I said goodbye to my parents, my sister, and my dog, and I got behind the wheel. That's when I remembered I forgot to pick up a book I'd ordered at a bookshop downtown in Manhattan. Luckily, it was one of those bookstores that stays open 24-7, so I decided to grab the book on the way. I could have asked them to mail it to me once I got to California, but uh, no, I decided to go into Manhattan and get it myself. That one detour changed my life forever. Oh my god! Stay away. It's better if they don't see us. She's unconscious. I'm taking her to the hospital. We'll take care of her at the hospital. Maybe that moron did the dirty work for us and she's already dead. Maybe, but we better make sure. 
It did, I'm telling you. On the way to the bookshop, I hit that girl with my car. I was scared stiff. She suddenly ran out in front of me. There was no way I could stop. Luckily for both of us, she wasn't that badly hurt. They did a bunch of tests on her at the hospital and said she had no major injuries. She was just in shock. So they decided to keep her under observation for 24 hours. A nurse took her to a room and gave her some strong medicine that put her to sleep. By the way, I, I don't know if I mentioned it, the girl's name was Gina, and she was amazingly beautiful. The truth is, I had no reason to stick around, so I went to say goodbye to her and go on my way. Please, don't leave. They want to kill me. There, there. Calm down. It's all over now. I hit you with my car, but you're fine. You're in a hospital recovering from... No, I'm telling you, they want me dead. I've got to get out of here. Who are they? Please, calm down and tell me why you think they want to murder you. Something awful happened tonight, and I witnessed the whole thing. Look, I'm a singer. I work at the Pink Iguana, a trendy place with live shows. This evening, when I finished my act, my dad was waiting for me. He works for a secret government agency. He told me he needed to tell me something. He said it was an emergency. Come a little closer. Gina, kiddo, I'm in danger. I've gotten into a really big mess, and I'm afraid you're not safe either. What's the matter, Daddy? Oh, you're frightening me. There's no time to explain. They're right behind me. I need you to keep this crucifix, and no matter what happens, don't let them find out you have it. You can't trust anybody, not even the police. But Daddy, please, tell me what's going on. They're here. Quick, grab the crucifix, and don't let them see you with me. It was awful. Some guys pulled my dad away and took him into the storeroom. I scrambled away just in time and got the crucifix without them seeing me. I followed them to the storeroom. They tied my dad to a chair and violently started interrogating him. These two henchmen wouldn't stop hitting him, and my heart froze when I saw who was giving the orders. The Sandretti brothers. The famous mafia bosses? How'd your dad get mixed up with those guys? I don't know, but they... Get him to tell you what he knows. Speak the truth out of him, if you must. Speak. Where is it? I won't say a word. Damn you! You're gonna speak now. Speak or die. You choose. Go to hell! It seems our friend doesn't want to cooperate. What a shame. So, we got a tough boy on our hands. You're not easily convinced, huh? Boys, maybe you're being too soft on our little hero. Did you hear that? The boss says we're being softies. hi -ya! What are you doing? Didn't you hear his neck crack? You killed him, man. Up there. You already know the rest of the story. I ran out through an alleyway, and when I crossed the street... Please, don't leave me. They'll kill me. Don't worry. Just rest for now. Go to sleep. I won't leave you. She fell asleep. Those tranquilizers must have taken effect. What a story. I don't know what to think. The poor thing is probably in shock from the accident. I bet she dreamt all this, but what if it's true? What if her life really is in danger? I can't just leave her here and forget all about it. I'd never forgive myself if something happened to her. Okay, that's it. I'm not leaving this hospital until I'm sure Gina's completely out of danger. But how are you supposed to act in a situation like this? Yeah, I, I think I'd better do something to protect Gina in case those mafia murderers she says want to kill her show up. Holy crap, people. Uh, this is a very long intro. Um, yeah. Welcome to my loot new Let's Play. I'm playing Runaway. Have I played this before? No. Why am I playing this? Uh, it's point and click, and it was pretty cheap on Steam. 
and I've been really curious about this series since I saw the cover of the second one. Um, so I figure why not? And holy crap, that was a long intro. I let alone why? I, it doesn't bug me. Um, since when is there a twenty four seven bookstore? I have never cro come across one at all where I live or where I've been. Um, comment if this is actually true. If there is a twenty four seven bookstore, because it seems a little hokey pokey. Um, anywho, let's see what we can do. So apparently we need to barricade this place. Um, let's go look at the map. That seems like a good option. Hmm, let's see. It's a map of this floor of the hospital. Here's the room I'm in. Here's the hall, and if I'm not mistaken, across the hall and just to the left of this room, there's a storeroom. That could be interesting. Okay, so clearly a hint. Um, Ingo, can I pick... Okay. I don't need to take it down. I can see it fine from right here. So I just need to hold the, um, right mouse button to get the different things. Oh, this is a bathroom. Let's enter the bathroom. Oh my. That, that's weird. I like that big apple sticker. It's a little weird for a bathroom. It's one of those waste baskets that opens up when you step on the lever. Uh, medicine? It's a bottle of alcohol. Well, okay. Uh, anything else I can stare at? Ooh, toilet. Let's go get what the toilet. What can I say? It's just a toilet bowl. Are you sure about that? What can I say? It's just a toilet bowl. Out of order. Well, I'm afraid the shower's out of order. There aren't even any faucets. I, I feel like this is going to be some sort of hint. The faucet hasn't been attached to it, so it must be dry. Uh, can we take uh, that? I don't see what I could use that for. I could see a use for it for quite a lot of things, but okay. Nature isn't calling right now. What? And yes, I admit I'm pretty shy about doing certain things in public, okay? I just want to flush it. What about that? I just want to make sure there's nothing in the toilet. Okay, well, let's open the wastebasket. Someone threw away a marking pen. It what? might still work. Okay, that's kind of neat. I can't. It's it's locked shut. Okay. This could be useful. What else does he have? There was some amber thingy. I found this at an archaeological dig. There's a fossilized mosquito inside. Are we gonna make dinosaurs? That'd be pretty awesome. I found this at an archaeological. There's a fossilized mosquito. Okay, nothing of that. Order farm. That's for his book. After I'm assuming. This, I didn't get the darn book. Okay, his keys, wallet. I've got the letter Professor Silva sent me from Berkeley in there. In his letter, he offered me the opportunity to do my doctoral studies under his guidance in the applied physics department that he chairs. This has been my lifelong dream, and it's finally coming true. I hope this mess is cleared up fast so I can get to California. I get this impending sense that it's all of his plans are just going to be derailed. <laughs> I still have the same car my folks gave me when I turned 16. It's jet black. 196 proof alcohol. Ooh, can 196 we... proof alcohol. Can you get him to drink that? Drink it. Drink it. Oh, no, he... Nope. Okay. Uh, I guess we leave. And uh, I don't think that's... I think that's everything. So let's get out of the bathroom. Now, can we mark the map? I feel like this is going to be used for that. That doesn't make sense. Oh, I kind of think it does, but okay. Um, what else? Help fight AIDS. I guess we'll stare creepily at Gina. I hope the accident doesn't leave her scarred for life. I would be surprised if it did, but apparently she's perfectly fine. Even though she got hit by a car. Save it for later. She's in a deep sleep. Actually, probably she does have some injuries, but you figure with a accident like that, she would be a little bit more, um, hurt, damaged. That's just my opinion. Uh, I do see a package of pills. Those are the same kind of sleeping pills Gina took. And I'm sensing we need to take them. Snooze at all. One of the finest brands on the market. And yeah, we got pills. <laughs> it's empty. Well, let's take it. 
It's cracked. Gina must have broken it when she took that sleeping pill. And let's go get a medical chart. Just cause. It contains a description of her injuries in the name of her doctor. Okay, well, let's take it. Hmm. I, I better not. If someone came in, they might get suspicious if they see the chart is empty. Well, we just switched charts. How difficult is that? I think. Standard hospital linens. Okay, well, let's take hospital linens. This might come in handy. Uh, let's go get the bed. I hope they don't put another patient in this bed tonight. Now is not the time to go to sleep. This chart's empty. She really wants to stay in bed. What? That was weird. I suppose that's where the patients keep their personal belongings. Ooh, let's this raid. <laughs> I'll keep it until Gina wakes up. Can we uh, open it? I don't have the key. Uh, let's see. Can we open it? Let's see. This man is very brave. Hmm, a matchbox I might be able to use. Anything else? Let's see. There's a lot of stuff in there, but for now, nothing interests me. Okay, well, let's go get the They're from match. a bar called the Pink Iguana. Which she did mention. Okay, um, what else? Let's go cut the window. The city is so peaceful at this time of night. Oh, we can go out. I guess if we want to go out the more... Okay, I'll try to reach the storeroom by walking along the ledge. What? Hope I live to tell the grandkids. What? I... I don't want to go yet, but okay. Yikes! I better not look down. I don't look down. <laughs> um... I almost didn't make it. So, the map was right. This is the storeroom. Let's see what I can find in this dump. Okay, before we go there, let, let's head back. I feel like I kind of jumped, like, three steps of what I'm supposed to. I don't think I should go out. I'm afraid that if some nurse finds me here, they might make me leave the hospital. Okay. So clearly he doesn't want to leave. Okay, now, we, now that makes sense. And that's a buzzer. It's used to call the nurses. Can we use I it? I don't need a nurse right now. Okay. All right, now we can go into the storeroom. We have to watch this again. Yep. Sorry, guys. Yikes! I better not look down. Okay. Well, let's go get the scary human These body. Better days. Mm, okay, but I think I'll just take his head with me. His head's got a hole on one side so you can examine his brain. I was gonna say, if you took the entire body, I'd be very impressed. I hope no one misses the head. Looky here, a Vademicum. A who what? This might come in handy. What's a ve Heebie weebie thingy? Wow, this is thorough. It includes a description of almost every medicine known oh, to man. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> Get head. <laughs> his head's got a hole on one side so you can examine his brain. Ugh. Okay. Uh, what else can I take? Looks like I can take this. Cleaner. So let's take that. This might come in handy. Uh, anything else? Pillows. It looks like I can take there those. Pillows used in the patient's beds. So let's take I'll those. Take a bowl. Well, they're big and very fluffy. They contain all sorts of medical equipment. I don't need any of that. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. They contain all. Oh yeah, I think we. I don't need it. Yeah, I don't need any of that. Anything else? Radiator. It's not on right now. Can we turn it's it on? It's connected to a central heating system and can't be turned on from here. Uh, look there at are the box. several files inside labeled incoming and outgoing medicines from 1994 to 1998. Those files don't interest me. Okay, well, I'm curious when this game was it's made. Full of files, papers, and other hospital records. Just because I mentioned 98 and 94. <laughs> Alright, let's see what else I can look at here. 
It's some kind of stand used to hang the little bottle of serum on a hook. No. Okay. I don't know what's inside, but they give me bad vibes. It's probably better to stay away from them. I don't want to catch some tropical disease. No, I was planning on taking that medicine. Anywho, I think I'm going to end the episode here. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying the first episode. If so, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, that's about it. <laughs> Sorry guys. Yeah, I know. I know. Taking forever. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And hopefully you guys have a good day. Bye!